I watched the trailer and it it's so amazing to me. It's five continuous shots. Yeah, pretty much. So how is that to edit? Well, there was, it was very easy. There was no editing. We just kind of, you know, said we'll take that take and then that was it. So editing did not take long at all. Getting the shots, I mean, you would have to stop if something was wrong and start all over? Yeah, well, that was always kind of a, uh, a decision on set because if, if you stop every time some little thing goes wrong, then you're never going to make it through the whole 20 minutes. So it was always kind of a decision like, uh, do, I, do I stop everything right now or do I just let it go and know, you know, nothing's going to be perfect, but we kind of went with the, you know, flaws and all philosophy, I think. So I read this quote that I had to write down because I thought it was uh, it was pretty indicative. It says, it's the story of a missing woman, but it paints the portrait of a lost man. And that's where you come in, Jock. You, John, you are the lost man? I am. Yeah, still trying to find my way home. Did you study a lot of, like, detectives and watch a lot of detective movies to prep for this film? I don't ever like to uh, watch other movies to prepare for a movie, um, particularly or try to find some performance to uh, ape or, you know, uh, be like. So for me it was uh, just a lot of talking to Dennis about the script uh, in preparation and also I did uh, read a book about how to become a private detective. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because that's what the character is, a private detective. So I learned things about tailing suspects and legal things and what you're allowed to do, what you're not. Mm -hmm. Now, I, in watching the clip and the trailer, I haven't got to see the film yet. Looking forward to that a little bit later on today. And watching the Too Late trailer, it looks like just the most beautiful, sunny part of California and then just the, the glam to the gloom. Yeah, we tried to cover all the bases. There's a lot to Los Angeles and Southern California. Uh, we tried to find little pockets that no one had really seen or that hadn't been captured on film and then we found a few spots that were more iconic uh, but we shot them in a little different way and it kind of gives you the whole breadth of LA a little bit. Um, it's great. Uh, I hope that people enjoy it and it was uh, a really unusual project in so many ways. You know, the long takes thing but also just a, a period of several years uh, and that's how the movie it's kind of designed, you know, the character I play changes looks. So there are parts where Dennis wanted me to be sort of bearded per the script or long haired and other parts where um, not. So, I mean, it would take time in between, uh, I guess, to fundraise and to um, uh, prepare for the next uh, thing. Yeah. But it, w it was a period over, over several years of shooting, I think, wasn't it? Which yes, is, and uh, working around your busy schedule, I think, as well. Part of it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you to John and to Dennis, and we're going to see the movie Too Late in just a little bit. Thank you for coming out.